Well, I have a really simple technique that I always um, offer my clients. Um, it's a homework assignment that every single one of my clients or my workshops we always go through, and it's very, very, very simple. Take seven days, seven days of your life, and all I want you to do is catch yourself with anything that you are saying that is negative or derogatory about yourself, someone else, or your future. Just catch yourself. Become self-aware of your inner chatter. What do you say to yourself? What do you say about people? What do you believe? Okay? And once you get aware of that, I want you to write it down. I just want you to keep a journal of it so that you can become present to how often you speak to yourself in this negative manner. And the minute that you start to bring up something negative, something that's fearful, something that is um, talking about someone else, go cancel, cancel. And replace that thought with something really power powerfully positive. So for an example, I might say, I'm not worthy of love. This might be a subconscious conversation, but it might start with, oh, I hate my body, I'm too fat. I'm not worthy of love, they're not gonna love me. Ah, 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 ah. Cancel, cancel. I'm beautiful and my body's amazing and I'm doing my best to work on it every day. Write it down, cancel. For most people, this little simple practice <laughs> It's going to be a very long process because what they're going to do is they're going to start to realize how often they negatively talk to themselves. The more successful we are, the more beautiful we are, the, the richest person in the room still battles with this on a daily. Because we're never taught. We're always taught to look on the outside, compare ourselves, go for success. We're programmed every single day by the television, by the media, what we're supposed to have and what we're supposed to do. So we become highly critical and we create these filters in our mind that tells us that we are just inadequate and we're not enough. And then that becomes our subconscious belief system and our subconscious belief system actually creates our reality, the way in which we see. So if we can first stop that, and get a hold of ourselves, become really self-aware and say, wait a second, these things that I'm saying, these things that I'm beating myself up about, they're not true. This isn't me. This is just an automatic part of my brain that is undisciplined and not trained, that I need to stop and start to put a habit of positive, loving, you know, conversation. And once you do that, you will actually start to see things shift.